filled my coffee just a tad i'm trying to get rid of these plants that i had before they're like fake plants from ikea and mishka really liked playing with them so i put them next to his scratching post until i get rid of them he knocked them all down yeah that is that one your favorite would you like to smell it yeah it's a pretty one so this little corner on the couch has become my favorite place in the morning. It's kind of been where I go to start my day. I read my devotional, I read my Bible, I drink my coffee, I kind of go over the plan for the day, and then when I'm finally ready, I go upstairs to my office, and that's been my routine, and you know what? It has been absolutely lovely. So I'm about to sip my coffee, read my devotional, and get myself situated for the day so last night i cleaned up my office um a little bit while i was kind of relaxing at the end of the day we moved some furniture around i brought this cabinet into here and i actually really like how it looks and the decor is just stuff that i had at my old place and i kind of placed it around i guess to look cute as a background for when i'm filming i'm gonna take the glass out of the pictures glare won't be there you know but i thought it'd be cute like it just looks nice and clean i still have to put the doors on these cabinets they're still over there i need to do that and <laughs> yeah just a lot to get done still even though we've been in this house now for like two months it's all a process mm. I'm going to write out my to-do list, um, change up my schedule a little bit because I got a little bit more delayed uh, this morning and I have a call that is kind of going to interrupt my day. So I want to make sure I'm productive before and after the call and don't feel like I have a project that I'm working on and smack dab in the middle I have a call that interrupts it. So let's work on that. <laughs> I just did my makeup and the doorbell rang and I opened it and there is a package for me. So exciting. This is the Brooke Linen sheets for our bedroom because we are currently using the old comforter from my boyfriend's old apartment. This video is actually in sponsorship with Brooke Linen, so I'm so excited. Thank you so much for partnering with me. So this is my first impression as well because I haven't even like, you know, opened it yet, but we're gonna wash the sheets um, and then put them on tonight so that I can test them out and sleep with them and see what me and my boyfriend think. And then tomorrow morning, I'll let you guys know what I think, but let's, let's unbox this because I'm too excited. Oh my goodness. This is, I guess, a tote. Oh, it's kind of cute. So basically, Jersey took away plastic bags everywhere. So I'm hoarding these reusable totes in my car. So I so appreciate it. Thank you. So I ended up getting the Lux Hardcore set, which includes two soft like Lux pillowcases. I chose the standard size, not the king size, because we do not have king size pillows, but I'm so excited. This is what I'm most excited about. And then I picked the duvet cover, like also in the white color. I've just really been into white, so I just got white everything, but they have so many different colors if you wanna do like a little set. And then the last thing is the sheets. You get a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, and 
two pillowcases. It's me from the future popping in because I totally forgot to tell you guys that Brooklinen is giving you 15% off until September 8th to shop. So if you're interested and you want to try out these sheets, the duvet cover, whatever, you can try different colors, whatever it is that you want. All you have to do is click down below. The link is there and the discount will automatically be applied at checkout for you. But I'm not going to ruin anything for you. Keep watching the vlog. But like, I look I'm in love with my bed. You're going to see the huge difference like the bed looks like a Ritz Carlton now I'm obsessed I'm obsessed it's everything I ever wanted and more let's open them up I'm so ready okay oh wow I love the back says some believe in love at first sight we believe love at first wash more washes equals more softness so what are you waiting for Okay, glad they're on the same page as me. Um, and they also have a brooklinen.com care guide, so I should probably check that out before I throw them in the wash. I'm probably going to put them on like a delicate, but let's see. They're like really smooth. It's nice because it also feels like it's, it's like a cooling type of sensation. Because I don't really care for like fluffy bed sheets especially like right now maybe in the winter time but I really care for like the ones that are smooth and make me feel like I don't know I'm so excited for this you guys I'm so excited I can't wait to put this on so instead of buying the individual items like the duvet like the shams the sheets you end up getting 25% off if you do the bundle which is actually a really great price 25% off is like a big chunk but the best part is they also have like 20 or so different patterns and colors so if you don't want white sheets you don't have to go with that they have like 20 plus different patterns and colors you can like mix and match whichever ones you want I've been wanting to upgrade the comforter and like the sheets on this bed but I just haven't done it yet so I'm so excited that now I have like Brooklyn and sheets and such because I've heard so many good things about them from like other creators, from so many different people, but I never bit the bullet because before I never really needed, you know, a comforter or bedding because um, I had it from my other bed. Like I, I never really needed it, but then we moved and I was like, wait, I need to find a good comforter. But Brooklyn and they have the classic or the luxe hardcore bundles and they range from like 200 to 250 which includes like the duvet cover like the the shams for the pillows and like for your actual sheets so like that pricing is actually really good because comparable luxury sheets are usually upwards of like 500 and such but like i spend a third of my life or more probably in bed like i'm not planning on you know having a bad time i want it to be comfortable and i want it to be good brooklyn and was founded on the idea that People deserve simple, like beautiful home essentials at like a price that's not including the luxury markup. I love that kind of mentality. So I'm so excited. Let's throw these in the wash. I feel this feels the sheets feel incredible, you guys. I thought the comforter was soft. The sheets are amazing. I checked on the website and it says to machine wash cold. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then tumble on like a low setting. The whole process of putting everything inside out <laughs> is so time consuming. Okay. One of my favorite things to do with sheets and like bedding is to use some sort of scent booster. So I'm going to throw that in because it makes it makes your sleep just so much better. You guys wish you had a laundry assistant as cute as that. All right, we're going to do normal. Actually, no, we're going to do delicate. It's on cold. Okay, cool.
about to put this in the oven. It's just some tomatoes, um, garlic from my parents' garden, some onions, and some salt and pepper with avocado, no, olive oil, sorry. I'm about to pop that into the oven. I had my call with a brand um, and my manager. It was really, really nice talking to people kind of like face to face, even though it's like still Zoom or like Google Meets. But um, we were talking about potential collaborations for the fall and the winter. So hopefully something comes of that. But um, yeah, I was ready to pack orders. I already organized them all and printed the labels. But I felt so weak and I still kind of feel weird. I thought it was dehydration, so I've been sipping on water. But um, I think it's because I haven't had like a fully, I don't know, like not enough protein right now in my diet. I had like chia pudding with mango and then I snacked on blueberries. I had some snacks. So I didn't really have a full lunch, I guess. I had a sandwich, but um, I'm about to make something for like an early dinner just because I feel like I really really need something in me so hopefully this helps but I just don't feel comfortable getting behind the wheel right now and driving to the post office and the post office closes in like half an hour anyway so I just need to get myself like feeling okay again It's a little bit later. I did my nails. Do you guys like them? I literally did them myself. <laughs> I was just like, I painted them the normal light pink and then tonight I was just, I don't know. I wanted some white on them. But anyways, this is my bedroom. Uh, it's looking a little rough. It says take it easy. I think someone likes the new sheets. There's little ties here. I don't even know if this one has little bits to tie. Oh my gosh, there are. This is the best thing ever. good guys this is so exciting like my bed looks so much better it looks so much more luxurious that's my heated blanket by the way on the floor but like wow it makes such a huge difference especially with the fact that like before we had this dark grayness it just didn't fit the vibe of the room I am so excited it like makes me feel like I'm like living in a hotel wow 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 I am so obsessed. They feel so nice. I'm so ready to sleep in this. Our new bed. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look so nice? Wow, babe. But this looks like a hotel. This looks like the wrist crawl. Good morning, you guys. I have no words. These sheets are absolutely magical. Like, I had such a hard time getting out of bed this morning because it's just so unbelievable <laughs> like this surpassed my expectations by far like by far um so like yeah brooklyn has like five star reviews and like hundreds of thousands of reviews and like they're i'm sure that they're all accurate because this is the best night of sleep i've had in like forever this is like my favorite moment now like to get into bed at night and getting up in the morning it's starting to feel more like a ritual kind of like like i feel like i need to be wearing like an expensive robe or something something luxurious like i need to do a 10 step skincare routine because like i'm living in a hotel <laughs> like sweet life of alina please so the sheets if you can tell have like a little bit of like a luminous finish almost like they kind of look like they're like sateen or something which is true because they're a luxurious 480 thread count 
Um, so that luminous finish is the sateen, which is more like tightly woven and heavier in weight usually. But what I really love is that they're like, they're warm, but they're soft too. It's so weird. Like, I don't know. They're, they're going to be great, I think, year round. I ended up bringing the nightstand up here as well. But like, look at how beautiful. Like this bedding looks immaculate and i'm so excited because brooklyn is offering my viewers 15 percent off from now until september 8th so be sure to take advantage to make sure that you can try out their sheets or stock up on your faves all you need to do is click the link down below um, and the discount will be applied i am going to run some errands i need to pack some orders for just olina and we're gonna go to the post office to ship them out i think i want to go to target costco I don't know, run some errands and such. So let's go for a little car ride. I hate having to leave my bed, but yes, we got to get things done today. Hey guys, long time no drive with me. Today we are running some errands. I woke up pretty late. I had like an, a panic attack randomly in the shower yesterday, which was so out of nowhere. Um, and it really took it out of me. I woke up this morning like just not feeling my best, really drained. But I had some breakfast and I did a little bit of work. And right now we're headed out to ship out some orders for just Alina. If you don't know, I have like a small business where we sell like headbands. I'm wearing one of the ones we have available right now. Um, and so long story short, basically, I uh, have to ship those out. So we're going to the post office and then I want to go to Target to return some bins. I used them when I was moving, but I don't actually really need them. So I'm gonna return them. They're like not even used really. Um, so fingers crossed that can get done in time too. And I think we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, I also think I'm gonna stop in at Costco to get some water. I haven't ran errands by myself in a hot second. Like my boyfriend and I have been doing it together because I also like moved into an area where this is like a relatively new spot for me. Um, and I'm such a creature of habit. I don't really care to do things in places that I like don't know or recognize. So I know that I should be more comfortable like out here going out and about, but I'm such like a suburban type of person, but we're so close to like the city which by now whenever I say the city it's gonna be re in reference to Philadelphia because we're closer to Philadelphia now than I am to New York even though I do still intend to go to New York for like different things um, Philadelphia is the closer city to me now so yeah I I'm trying to get used to the changes I think that I guess I always thought that the places like I grew up by with by my parents house were like my local areas and even when I moved out and moved in with my roommate I at that time still like felt more comfortable going shopping and doing whatever it is that I do at like my parents like area so I think I just need to learn to establish like a new location is anyone else like does anyone get what I'm saying like I don't know like I feel so weird going to a post office that isn't the post office like by my parents house I used to go to the one barely by my old townhouse and like I still felt so like like it wasn't mine it was somebody else's post office 
I'm hoping that right now, like as September comes up and like October, I can spend more time like actually trying to explore Philadelphia. And there's also like this little group, I think it's called Philadelphia Girls Who Walk or something like that. I don't know. I found it on like TikTok and on Instagram and I just felt really pulled to like go. So I'm like hoping I can go for the next walk and maybe make some friends because I want to make some friends that are like my age in this area. I feel like Sunana's in New York, which like love my friends to death, but you know, it's always nice to expand your friend circle. Alyssa's actually pretty close to me now, which is fun, and she's been loving coming to like Philadelphia. So her and I have been hanging a lot more than we did before. Plus, I think she's in love with my cat. So um, yeah, I need to see her. Like, I, she was busy one of the weekends, and I wanted to hang out with her after she watched my cat while I was on vacation. I still need to. I need to holler at her and see what's going on. But her birthday and Savannah's birthday are in September, so I'm so excited to celebrate with them. Um, what else do we got going on? We got Vic and her boyfriend need to come visit. And they were actually going to come this weekend, but I think I'm going to be... Oh, I didn't actually talk to my boyfriend about it. We have to figure out when Vic and her boyfriend are coming. For, we want to do like a game night or something. That would be fun. Uh, but I love Vic. She's been like my best friend since I was five. We're like, we're not people that like talk all the time, but like when we do, it's like time doesn't pass. And that's something that I value so much in my friends because I know that I'm like so ADD and I forget to reach out to them. I forget to do everything. Um, but so do they. And then in the end, it ends up being that like we are just all very low maintenance friends. Like if you need me, I'm there. If they like if I need them, they're there. But when it comes to like the day to day, we kind of stay up to date a little bit through social media, but like we don't have to call every day, you know? Um which is nice. So it's been definitely uh great having everybody and then my best friend from college, Vicky, got engaged recently. I'm like so happy for her. She has had a tough year and I am just like, I just want to give her a hug honestly, but she's over in DC and I miss her terribly. I think I haven't seen her the longest out of all my friends. I think, I don't know, her and Rose are kind of tied. Rose is currently in Georgia which I need to visit her, but I know that in September her birthday is also coming up and she's gonna be probably in New York to visit her family. So maybe I can like make the trek to see her. Um, but I love Rose too. She's so encouraging and just like such a Christian gal. Like I love her and like we became friends because of like YouTube, because she used to do it too. Um, and Vicky I met through college because we were in a class together, but we ended up being in the same internship like co-op thing that we did so we both were like mentally drained and dying at this internship so we kind of like befriended each other and like really just found support from one another but she's such a smart gal um love her to death and I really want to celebrate the fact that she's engaged with her um so I need to like make time to go to DC and see her or something like that it's just been like a lot with I shared um, on Instagram a little like spiel. I wrote out a whole essay thing and I I didn't mean to. It just kind of happened. Out and kind of apologized to you guys. I really like want you guys to read it. Um, it was a very emotional thing for me to like just pour out. But in that moment, I don't I don't know what happened. I just randomly started writing it like I was just gonna say hey guys long time no see like no vlogs no videos like I'm back but then I, I like dug deeper and it was almost like I was journaling and like letting out things that I didn't even realize happened um, and after writing all that out I realized wow I've actually been through a lot in the past four years um, and I shared 
some of the stuff, like the majority of the stuff in the little letter I wrote out to you guys. So please read it so that you know what I'm talking about. I'll include it like right here. So you can pause it and read. Okay, hoping you read that or you've already heard about it on Instagram. But after writing that out, I had such a huge just influx of support and love from all of you guys. I felt so grateful. Like, there were so many kind messages. And I, I don't know, I remember writing that letter and being like, I don't know how people are going to react. Because I feel like I'm so hard on myself where I'm always like, oh my gosh, like you need to be better. You need to be like more active. You need to be doing this. But I was also dealing with so much that I don't think like I noticed. And I spent all that time like dealing with the things that I was dealing with. And then in the back of my head thinking, oh my gosh, like I need to think of what I'm posting next. I have to think of this. I need to think of this because my brain is wired like that. So I never truly rested. And then after we moved, I, I guess like I started realizing that like my routine was back to kind of like a norm and this is what I needed. Like I needed everything to be kind of not stable, <laughs> but like not back to back to back panic and craziness. Okay, I'm pulling up near the post office right now, so I'm going to figure out where and how to get in there. Um, and I'll talk to you guys after. Hello. Good, how are you? Just shipping these out. Thank you so much. So I just dropped off the packages. The lady at the post office was the sweetest. She was just so kind. Like her like energy and her vibe was just so sweet. Now I'm heading over to Target so that I can return these bins and then we will go to Costco, I think. My total was literally $6.66 because the only things I got were these raspberry lime seltzers that I'm obsessed with. And then I found this candle, the Wild Cherry Blossom, on sale for $3. I could not pass this up. It smells pretty good, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just probably at the end of the season. And this is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna start like collecting candles at the end of the season <laughs> so that I can have them. Like this is gonna be great for burning in the springtime. Um, but I definitely want to come back and get the fall ones because I really liked a few of them. Um, but I thought it would be more fun to go shopping for them when I film Vlogmas. Like, look at how bright it is right now. Like, this is not the vibe. But I thought that during Vlogmas, it would be a lot more fun to, like, go get, like, fall candles. Like, it would be a fun little thing to do. So I wanted us to bond on that and not for me to just run in. But you guys... Do you want to know how much I saved by returning those bins? My total refund... $81.72 So I felt like I was shopping for free because I already paid that off on my credit card. <laughs> so I was like, oh my god, I'm shopping for free. But I only ended up spending $6. I decided to stop into Trader Joe's and you guys, I spent $100 there. Granted, I bought like two things of salmon and I think four things of chicken so that itself is like $60. Um, but then I got like potatoes and onions and like random stuff like pasta um, and canned tomatoes. Um, but yeah, that was unexpected. I thought I was gonna not spend that much money today. Turns out grocery shopping, dude. And now I'm at Costco because we need water. So I'm gonna go in there, grab some water. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? I can't help 
but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we <laughs> stay here? That was quite the adventure. Um, they already have Christmas stuff out, so I'm like, pumped already for vlogmas and such and i'm like oh girl you haven't even started vlogtober oh my gosh they opened a new crumble cookie you guys the line is like out the door <gasps> whoa that's like at least a 40 minute wait my goodness 